and welcome to episode 37 of Ryan and Robin Wrexham, where today we play our first Champions League game against AC Milan, and then a Premier League game against Man United. We've started the season reasonably well, actually. We uh, have uh, got nine points after four games, sitting in fourth with a good goal difference. If we have a look at the uh, results, obviously we lost both games in the last episode. We followed the 2-1 loss to Wolves with a 4-0 victory against Brighton with Simoes and Yervelino both getting a brace. We then scored um, two goals with Kamvinger and Yervelino against Leicester and then won 3-1 with Garnier getting a brace, Leclerc getting on the score sheet and uh, Jack Grealish got one back for, for Spurs. Um, but yeah, today is a big test. We've got Milan and then United. Not going to be easy at all. Um, we have made a couple more transfers. So uh, if we have a look at the outs... Um, quite a few players left in the end so uh, Hoyen Hall had, had gone Garnacho went to Frankfurt for £25 million Solis went to Alaves for 37 I'm not quite sure where they got that money from it was eight, basically split in two so £18 million now £18 million, uh, in over the next couple of seasons and then Trago went to Braga for £24 mil. Um, Callum White went to Hoffenheim for £27 mil. Uh, these are all mostly in instalments of some kind. And Neff instead, never didn't even realise I had him. I went to Crystal Palace for 250k. He's pretty rubbish, so, you know, I'll take it. And then Alex Lorenzo's gone out just recently on loan to Apoel as he wasn't really playing for us. And I, uh, he's in the last phase of you know, being able to develop quite a lot rather quickly. So hopefully that will, will help, even though Apoel aren't amazing. Um... So, we then signed Chris Jones from Newcastle on loan. Uh, he's the guy that we, we tried to sign him for 600k from Cambridge, and he chose them over us, and it's a bit annoying because he's quite good and has lots of potential. And, uh, yeah, now we've got him on loan. He is interested in joining, but um, his transfer value is a lot more than they signed him for. Uh, we then did manage to sign Stefan Manole. It was very, very difficult to... Um, he uh, only agreed well basically he handed in a transfer request on deadline day, no other club wanted him he was unconvinced about joining, so as you can see he's on quite a large wage and um, lots, oh my goodness I've put so much money in this he's got a lot of an appearance fees, goal bonuses assist bonus, clean sheet bonus unused substitute fee and he has a £97 million pound release clause so we're probably going to have to get rid of that at some point um but yeah, so he he is he looks very good. Um, he's supposedly our key player now, even though I think Warburton's slightly better. Um, but yeah, he's a he's a very good player. And then with the money we got from Callum White, we then signed Hesdras Carraza. They were rejecting their asking price of twenty seven million pounds, so we did twenty seven million pounds plus one million in instalments, and they suddenly accepted. So yeah, happy to have him. He's a good Premier League player who's close to full potential and uh, has some pretty good stats and actually can jump and head the ball so better than Gustavo in that sense um, but yeah so 28 million pounds for him and he's done well for Sao Paulo so that's at least a good sign because uh, Gustavo had a mixed set of ratings before he joined us you know, he'll head into this game against Milan so this should be a tough game but we are just about favourites according to the pre-game predictions as we're at home um, also they didn't actually replace Manole um, we did sign him on deadline day quite late, so it's not entirely surprising, but um, certainly promising that you know we've we've weakened them ahead of this game and not had to worry too much um, about uh, you know facing a new player who's just as good. Anyway, here we go. So Barcelona already beat Astana, but only two one. Um, Atletico beat Salzburg and then it looks like there's a whole load of games going on at the same time and none of them are particularly on the level of this game from what I can see didn't take PSG long to go ahead against pra Slavia Praha uh, same for Chelsea against Partizan but yeah this is going to be a tough task Gabriel Barbosa has picked up an injury hopefully not too long term but that is a bit concerning Danny Jones on. I think I'll actually put him as a winger rather than inverted winger. What foot is he? 
Yeah, so he's right-footed, so it doesn't make sense to play him as an inverted winger in this scenario, I don't think. Looking to build from the back, no press from the forward for, uh, for Milan. Here's Manoli on the ball against his former team. Stanievich, pressed by Vecerich, who steps in and wins the ball back. Daviv. Warburton didn't properly get onto that, but thankfully did enough to cause uh, the turnover. And then Simo is pretty disappointing from him. He can do better than that. Pazunu into Allsop. Brent Powell. Kamavinga. Oh, he's not done the best pass there. That's poor from him. Vignato. Good save from Bazunu, stayed big and got down well to the shot. A pretty quiet start to the game from both teams, not many chances. We could do with getting a few more on target ourselves. And it looks like half time, it will be nil nil. Uh, I'm going to say I'm disappointed. And hopefully that will motivate the boys enough that they can uh, start to, you know, just be a bit more creative, a bit more impressive um, when shooting as well. We have had a clear-cut chance. I wonder if that was the Samoa's one. But, um, yeah, not many shots on target compared to our actual shots. Manole looks to have picked up a knock early on, which is not ideal. That's a brilliant pass into Samoa's and Mignon there to save from that. I think we'll get we'll get Manole off to protect him. We don't want him getting a long term injury. So Chris Jones can come on. Or oh, just into the hands of Mignon from I assume it was Yervolino. He was the tall guy in the area. Come on, Mads. Let's do a bit more than this. Tamori into Ruben Neves. Great ball from Moise Ken into Teo Hernandez. Oh, that's brilliant from Allsop clearing that out. Hasn't quite managed to get it away though. And it looks like they've scored. Maybe not. How far off was he? Oh my goodness, that's about as close as you can get. I'm not even sure that was offside, but I'll take it. Don't want to be losing our home games in this in this group because it is a tough group. A lot harder than most of the other groups that are around, which is a shame because we are pot one as well. But that always seems to be the way you, when you do get into pot one as a smaller team, um, you end up somehow getting all the hardest second, third, fourth teams. We might not have the strongest second teams in the group, but um, I, I think the overall quality of the group is higher than most of the others where, you know, you get a guaranteed win against some tiny team. To encourage the boys, but given how tired our forwards are, I'm not convinced that uh, we're going to be able to do anything here. And that will be that. Not the most exciting game. Um, but oh well, it was okay. Um, we haven't lost, and that's probably the most important thing because Milan are the second team in the group, at least, or probably the first, to be honest. Um, I don't know how good Bayer Leverkusen are, but there's a lot of money in Germany on football manager. I'm not quite sure why, because it's way more than they seem to have in real life. Um, oh, yeah, funny enough, with Danny Ward, he got a five month injury as soon as he arrived, a uh, broken lower leg. Um, <laughs> I'd only signed him a few days before, which but it slightly affected the Champions League registration stuff. Um, I wonder if I should have sold Barbosa for uh, you know twenty five million pounds or whatever. He's still got really good stats though, um, but at thirty two, he's only going downhill. Not ideal. Anyway, let's head into the game against United.
Here's today's lineup for the game against United then. Um, Chris Jones returns to the right back position with Manoli going into midfield. He's recovered fully from his minor injury. Um, Carraza uh, makes his second start for the club in centre back alongside Allsop. Uh, Dont on the right hand side with Samoyes on the left and uh, Yervelino, of course, up front. Uh, it was never going to be anyone else aside from him. Um, yeah, actually, Garnier will feel a bit hard done by that he's second choice because he looks very promising. Um, perhaps if he had a bit more versatility, he'd be playing more. Um, but uh, he doesn't. So, <laughs> Yervelino, I can't, you know, I can't demote Yervelino after the season he had last season and the start to the season he's had. Oh, that's very close there. But Dont, oh, first start of the season for Dont might even be the first time he's been on the pitch this season, and he's scored early with an outside of the foot shot. It looks like. Bit of a mix up in the United defence and uh, Don's capitalised on it. Baku, a new United signing, someone we considered going for, but he wasn't really interested. Um, he was available on a free as a 30 year old four star right back. Um, so it might have saved ourselves a bit of money on Manole, but uh, yeah, he's uh, not with us in, at the moment. Samoa is now trying to carry the counter almost by himself. That should probably be a yellow card for Baku, but apparently not. Didn't look like it made much of an attempt on the ball there. It was really good defending to prevent Lukaku as well on that, that last chance. Not quite sure how it wasn't scored. Lukaku wins the header and now Rashford on the left hand side. Slightly over hit across to Akamach. Crosses it into Rashford, and I think he's onside. I'm not quite sure why they're analysing that. Yeah, I think he was comfortably onside. There's a lot of silly, um, silly checks that they do on Football Manager when you can kind of easily see it's onside. Some noise. Crosses it in. Oh, off the bar. I'm not sure who it was that headed it, it might have been Carraza. But now a chance for United to counter with Achama. Baku. Reina crosses it in. Now Romano, McTominay. As a United fan, I really hope McTominay is not here in 2008 or 89 or whatever, whatever year it is now. Warburton. Camavinga. Oh, it's poor from him again. He did that in the last game. And this time it's cost us a goal. That's really poor from Camavinga. He needs to stop sell selling these passes short. I don't know what he was trying with that. But it was not good. Let's demand more. Oh, it's not gone down very well. Samoyes is very tired on the left hand side. Don crossing in, and that header goes over the bar. Where's Camavinga? I'm not happy with him. get Son on and hopefully he can uh, do something special for us. A bit like that goal he scored in his first game for us. Um, the brute beautiful curling shot from the edge of the box. Hopefully he can do something similar here. Stanievich and Manoli both rather tired so I guess we'll have to get them off which is not brilliant because you know, I'd rather not have to take them off. And Galbraith, I guess, is going to have to come on. Get um, Camavinga into a box to box role rather than deep line playmaker there. And let's encourage the boys. Warburton's having a bit of a stinker there, I'm not quite sure. 
why he's he's in such bad form today. I don't think I've noticed him being that poor, to be honest. Don looks to have picked up some kind of knock, but is recovering fine. Bazunu. Warburton. Gets past his man somehow. Yes, lad. That's on. That's definitely on. That's 100% on, surely. Yeah. Let's just have a quick check that it's not going to screw me over, but I'm pretty sure he was on. Yep, he was. A double from Dont. That's quite the way to come back into the starting lineup when you've, you know, not really played this season. Giving me something to think about. Camavinga. Yervolino. Oh my goodness. He can't, can he? Oh, I was unlucky. Imagine if Dont, first game of the season for him, or first start at least, got a hat-trick against United when I haven't really given him a look in so far. It out, but Fernandez gets to it first. Now Milenkovic looks for Canchola. Leclerc steps in. Bazunu clears out some sweeper keeper keeper action there. Oh goodness! Oh, thankfully, thankfully Rashford can't get it on target. Four minutes of added time. Has Dont done it for us? It looks like he has. Well done, Dont. Um, wasn't expecting him to be the star, to be honest. But uh, well done to him. He's been very, very good today. Uh, Kamavinga redeemed himself in that second half with a good good performance. And uh, Warburton, <laughs> still on a 6.2. I thought he was okay. Um, but yeah, two goals from Rashford and two goals from Dont. And uh, well done, lad. You were very impressive. Who's he looking at? Ah, Chris Jones. Anyway, Dont. That was for first, yeah, first appearance of any kind this season, and no cobwebs were shaken off. Or need, uh, no, what am I talking about? <laughs> Ignore me. Um, he, he shook off the cobwebs um, with no problems whatsoever. I guess he's, so he's fairly inconsistent, but he does enjoy big matches, so I guess that was one of his days, and he was playing a big game. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed his performance as much as I have, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day.